the last class we learned how to apply the quadratic formula in our quadratic equations to find the roots of that quadratic equations. So, here we are going to apply, so we are going to find what is the nature of roots. So, to explain this we all know that the quadratic formula minus b plus or minus root square root of b square minus 4ac by 2a. Here b square minus 4ac this term is called as discriminant. So, why because there are three different conditions based on this discriminant to find the nature of the roots. For example, what is the first conditions? If b square minus 4ac is greater than 0. For example, let me explain through an example. The first example which is 3x square minus 5x plus this is plus 2 equals 0. So, here let us find out whether this conditions which condition we are going to which condition going to be applied. We all know that the value how to write the value a, b and c. So, here is what is the discriminant b square minus 4 a c. Let us find out the value b square 5 square sorry minus 5 the whole square minus 4 into a 3 c 2 which gives me to 5 square 25 minus so 24 the product of all these 24 so I get minus sorry plus 1 which is greater than 0. So, what the condition says if b square minus 4ac is greater than 0 let me apply the remaining value in the quadratic equations for example minus b we know minus of minus 5 so, for plus or minus root we got 1 and whole divided by 2 for a for a is 3. So, 5 plus or minus root 1 and 6 the answer for this is 2 by 3 and 1. So, if the condition is b square minus 4ac is greater than 0 we will get two distinct real roots. Real means uh, real roots means uh, real numbers, real number solutions. So, 2 by 3 and 1 both are real numbers we know that. So, if it is the condition then this is the nature of that roots. Let us try the second problem. Let us find out what is what condition is applied here. So, we know that a 1 b 2 c 1. So, b square let us check the condition the discriminant value b square minus 4 a c. Here the answer is 0 which is equal 0 the answer is equal 0. The condition we observe here is the last one if b square minus 4 a c equals 0 then let us find out what is the nature of the roots. Let us apply the remaining value in the formula. So, minus b for b value we know that it is 2. So, minus 2 plus or minus square root of 2 square minus 4 into sorry we already found out this part right which is 0 and whole divided by 2 into a is 1. So, which means this is how you write the solutions minus 2 plus 0 by 2 minus 2 minus 0 by 2 this is how you write the solution. So, here we have minus 1 and minus 1. So, both same value which means two same real roots the minus 1 minus 2 all this is also real numbers right. So, the values are same if the discriminant value exactly 0. So, there is only one condition is remaining this one let us try to find the third problem let us try the a and b value b and c value and the discriminant value we are going to find b square minus 4 a c we are going to check. So, for b square minus 4 the whole square minus 4 into 2 for c 3 and 16 minus so the product 24 so the answer is minus 8 which is less than 0. So, if it is less than 0, that is not the real number actually. If uh, the square root of 
the square root of minus 8 it is not possible it must be imaginary that is different part so this is not the real roots so we can conclude we are not getting any real roots so it is clearly know that we are not going to get any real roots so we do not need to put the value the remaining value in the formula and find the solution no need so see you simply write there is no real roots Let us try to solve from uh, some problems from exercise 4.4. Find the nature of the roots of the following quadratic equations if the real roots exist. Find them. So, here what we are going to do is we are going to find the discriminant value one in whether it is less than 0 or greater than 0 or equals 0. So, let us take the first example. So, what is the discriminant value root b square minus 4ac? So, there is three conditions to be tested. Sorry, here not root, it's not square root, only b square minus 4ac. So, what is the condition? If b square minus 4ac is less than 0, then no real roots. If it is greater than 0, so 2 distinct real roots. If it is exactly 0, 2 same real roots. These are, our, these are our 3 discriminant value, these 3 conditions to be tested. It is coming back to our problem which is b square for, for b square minus 2 the whole square minus 4 into 2 into 5. So, 2 four, four, to the 4 minus minus 40 which gives me minus 36. So, how to conclude this since minus 36 is less than 0 there is no real roots. So, you do not need to put the value and find the solution right. So, so, this problem ends here. Let us move on to the second problem. So, 3x square minus 4 root 3 x plus 4 equals 0. So, a equals 3, b equals minus 4 root 3 and c equals 4. Every time check make sure that the given quadratic equation in the standard format or not. So, here all the equation are in the standard format. So, let us continue solving. So, so, b square minus 4ac, this is the discriminant value to find to be fine, minus 4 root 3 the whole square, minus 4 into 3 for c value 4. So, so for 16 into, so 4 root 3 the whole square which gives me 16, 4 fours are 16 and root 3 into square root 3 square which gives me 3 so 16 into 3 this side and here 4 3 fours are 12 12 into 4 here the product is 48 so here also 48 16 into 3 so 48 minus 48 0 so if the condition is exactly 0 so what is the nature of the root the last one, two same solutions, real roots we are going to get. Let us apply the remaining value in the formula and find out the solutions. So, minus b here minus b is minus 4 root 3. Here we know that this is 0. So, here a is 4, sorry a is 2. Sorry, a is 3. Na? So, the solution we can write 4 root 3 plus 0 divided by 6 and 4 root 3 minus 0 whole divided by 6. If we cut the 4 and 3, so 6, 3 to the 6, 2 to the 4, same here. So, we are going to get same value 2 root 3 divided by 3 and 2 root 3 divided by 3. So, if the discriminant value is 0, we get the same solution, 2 same solution. Let us try to do this third one which is 2x square 
minus 6x plus 3 equals 0. So, here we have the answer for b square minus 4ac is 12 which is greater than 0. So, if the condition is b square minus 4ac is greater than 0, we get two distinct real roots. So, you are able to substitute in the formula the a, b, c and c values. Then you will get to know that there are two different dis distinct solutions.